Niliuza paka changa. Hmm? Nisema hiyo eh. Kwa nabidi ni chemsha changa. Mm-hmm. Sasa si pesa ni unataka. Mm-hmm. Kabidi ni chemsha changa. True story. Maisha chela si mzuri. Nakaa ndani ya shela miaka na miaka. Mambo ni mawili yes or no. True story. Kurudia tu kosa die kosa. True story. Na melody senzore. Niliuza paka changa. Hmm? Nisema hiyo eh. Kwa nabidi ni chemsha changa. Mm-hmm. Sasa si pesa ni unataka. Mm-hmm. Kabidi ni chemsha changa. Unachemsha changa pale kwa bomba. Eh lakini kama umejificha kabisa tumechimbia chini na mama. Umechimba mtungi chini kabisa umeweka huko chini kabisa. Mkienda kuchemsha mnaenda kuchemsha mimi natoka mahali penye miwa iko. Mhm. Mnaenda mnakata miwa kwa mahali ka uwanja alafu na Sasa yeye atakuwa anaona tu moshi natoka mahali fulani nadhani ni miwa yake inachomeka. Kumbe ni changa mnachemsha. Jamani Eh ndio upate hela kidogo at least mambo ya yapate kusonga mbele kidogo. Mm-hmm. Kwa wakati unauza changa ni mwanafunzi bado. Bado wewe ni mimi ni mwanafunzi. Ndio unajitahidi umalize. Eh. Mm-hmm. Kitu tu ajabu ni kwamba wako wanajua ni nakunywa hata mimi. Hapo ndio penye maeko whole key problem started. Ukaanza kunywa tena. Kaanza kukunywa lakini na singe kunywa hapa akiona. Nikichukua mm-hmm. kikombe naweka kwa meza. Mm-hmm. Hii ni changa, hii ni vitabu. Sasa walikuwa wanajua tu mtoto anasoma sana. Na wajui nimekunywa nimelewa kabisa. Yeah. Mtoto atokanga kitabu yake na kikombe hapo. Ndani ya kikombe akiangalia vizuri asema hiyo ni maji tu. Kumbe ni changa. Na pale pa kuuza, mkiuza bomani, mzee alikuwa anakubali muuze ama mlikuwa mnauzaje? Atoka tunauza kwa boma, mm-hmm. ilikuwa tunauza wholesale. Oh, napaka kwa mitungi yako. Unabeba unapelekea mtu mwingine mwenye atauza pale pole sasa unauzie ule mwingine. Hmm. Sasa mzee yangu hizo kujua. Wewe ukishachemsha tunangoja kama ametoka kidogo. Akijiiba masaa sita hivi imetutosha kuchemsha. Haraka sana. <laughs> I hope wanaume mnasikia. Maana yake akina mama waachana nao. Eh? Yeah. Mnampimia time tu. Mnampimia time. Six hours is enough. Umemaliza mama akikuja tu kwambie amesema anaenda shivale. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Kiminini ama yeah. kimilili. Yeah. Ah basi pale mnajua mnamdoa kutosha. Yeah. Faster. Jamani. Umemaliza hiyo kesi. Lakini sikupenda si ni kwa kupenda. sababu mama anataka pia we ujitahidi umalize shule. Eh. Mhm. hakika kumaliza kila kitu. Mm-hmm. Na pia pesa ilipatikana hivyo kwa hiyo neema kidogo. Ukafanya form 4. Nikafanya form 4. Kisha kisha nika nilipita vizuri ndio na bi lakini that was not my expectation I was an A material. Baada ya kuuza changa yetu kabia mama mama nipate pesa kidogo. Kuna mali ninakimbia niende nitajitafutia college. Sasa ndio nikaingia katika shule ndogo inaitwa Kibit. Yeye nilijitafutia mwenyewe. Okay. Under the help of my mother mali nipatia tu fare kwenda kufanya interview na mm. wale they, it's called DWO. Mm. There was a district works officer mkubwa na isimamia district mzima. Nikaingia kwa shule iko hapa industrial inaitwa Kibit. Mm. Kenya Institute of Highway and Building Technology. It's the best of so far in pande engineering mm-hmm. ya yeah, building. Ni naijua ile. Yeah. Kibit naijua. Yeah. Mhm. Ndio nikaweza kuingia huko. Tukaanza kusoma vizuri sana. Uh, wakati nilikuwa huko my alcoholic problem did not m- go away. Mhm. Tumekunywa sana town, Apple Bees. Jamani. Yeah, Wallet. <laughs> Savroy. Huko shuleni lakini kama kwa shuleni kunywa na funny enough ni ilikuwa shuleni and my lecturers really liked me because I was the brightest kitiaoto kuhusu hesabu uliza shundu shundu anajua mm. enda shundu atakufanyia and those affluent eh? kuna watoto wa dosi na sisemi wote na wanakwanga wana kipi lakini they are just those wenye wanamesumbuliwa kuchukua kwa NC yao just because baba ako na pesa ameforce mtoto aingie pale waingia tu hapo na akakuja kusoma na akilia shughuli sasa mimi nilikala pata pesa hapo wateta pesa mimi sina pesa hao kona niko na akili na sina pesa na hao kwa na pesa naona akili sasa exchange let <laughs> jamani shundu una tabia mbaya <laughs> una tabia mbaya sana <laughs> sasa ningefanya aje <laughs> kwa nafanya hivyo tu naambia leta pesa ukifika wakati wa mtihani kuna vile tulikuwa tunafanya kulewa unalewa ndio kusoma unasoma mm. wengine pia wanakulipa ukiwafanya na mitihani yeah. tatizo lako la pombe bado ndio hilo tatizo la pombe bado linaendelea mhm nikamaliza nikapita vizuri sana didn't let them down in fact hao ndo walinipigia simu the first call that i received was from my 
instructors those engineer lecturers there how do you nipiga simu kanambia kijana na umepita sana heko sana uh, umefanya vizuri jua yeah. just prior to my sitting to examination kwa tumepigana jua ulevi and they were like sasa wewe shule aboni mtiani kombe yako immediately i finished lucky me one of my lecturers and one of the students who can recommend somewhere in government mhm katupwa mbali sana busia district and i thank god for that ulevi sasa imeanza ku attract women also mm-hmm. no ma alcohol with women in a late shida kidogo hapo mm-hmm. and funny enough i had a crush yes. and i don't know even uh, how i married that young lady mm-hmm. uh, mother of one you can imagine you met somebody within two weeks memo you met someone within two weeks memo Luksana dada na katika majuma mawili ukamoa. Eh. Wacha tujuanie mbele. Hili la <laughs> kesi baada. Hili la sijui ati mjue mtu mjue mtu. Manake eh. wanandoa wenyewe wanasema huwezi eh. ukamjua mpaka utakapoanza kuishi naye kwa nyumba. Eh. Kwa hiyo akasema wiki mbili we enjo. Eh, enjo. Kama unakoroma eh. usuku tutajua mbele. Eh. Eh. Tutajulia ndani. Eh. Jamani. Maisha kachukulia hapo vizuri. Mm-hmm. But alcohol is still a problem. Mm. Now so that may is uh, the devil has called in another devil. It's mm. written. The devil shall call in another devil. Mm-hmm. Alcohol may eat and any mambo za usharati na umalai. Mm-hmm. And I made that woman very bitter. Maana ninakunywa ninalala huko nje. Mtoto wenyewe anateseka bure. Yaani ukiangalia mwenyewe unaona kweli ulimtesa mtoto wenyewe. Ah, huyo huyo nilimtesa huyo na ukweli. Pole. Huyo nilimtesa huyo popota lipo. Mm. Uh, najua ni ulimtesa then mchezo ikaendelea hivyo although you are had some ups and downs tukakuja pia tukapoteza mtoto wake mimi kwenda kazi asubuhi mtoto akanifuata na msichana alikuwa na miamba ingine sasa hii mambo haya wasichana ama wamama kulala mm. mtoto amenifuata na mimi sijui mm. kunifuata akapotelea mtaa huu ana hapa tu pipeline mm. mtoto akupatikana it was a police case i, I had in touch with a few policemen in nambakasi i sent them everywhere kini sikupata mtoto mtoto hakupatikana mpaka leo hii mpaka leo yeah. what are you saying yes mtoto hajapatikana ndugu yangu shiondo yes umetoka asubuhi unaenda kazini yeah. mama ni mjamzito analala yeah. mtoto wa miaka 3 amekufuata yeah. hivyo ndo amepotea na hivyo ndo amepotea true story Nani ya Jambo Kenya